Okay, let's cover one of the pain in the butts with uh, TD Ameritrade and some other brokers um, when it deals with getting your tokens, okay? Whether it be your um, uh, bear token, your refresh, or your authentication token, um, stuff like that. So on TD Ameritrade's website, um, you know, if you go to the API screen, it's got authentication there, and you can go through this and start looking at the documentation that they have, okay? And one of the things you'll see on here is it's got a bearer token, um, token type, the refresh token, and the access token, okay? And, you know, they're going to expire. So one of the things that I did when I first started this was I started looking at JSON, or not JSON, but uh, Python, how other uh, programmers were doing this uh, through Python to actually um, control a, a Chrome, um, a Chrome browser and do the initial token. So that's what I'm doing with the initial bear or off token that I have to get, um, whatever it is, every 90, 120 days, I can't remember what it is. But in my code, I actually click a button and it pulls up Chromium and it's running a Python script from C Sharp for that initial token. That way I can do two factor authentication, stuff like this. But then what I wanna to cover today though is when I sit there and make calls back to TD Ameritrade, well, that authentication token is only good for like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, it's, it's not a very long amount of time. So you have to use the refresh token in order to get a new authentication token. And that authentication token is what you use to make your calls to TD Ameritrade. Confusing, right? I know. Uh, I'll try to simplify it some, but, you know, uh, you know good luck. So anyways, on their site, you can go through their authentication uh, FAQ and read through how it works, okay? Um, get an idea on it. Uh, look at other YouTube videos. Look at other websites that people have done this. I mean, I think this is covered pretty well as far as using Python to get the initial tokens. Um, but from a C-sharp standpoint, because I wrote my program, my bots in C-sharp, I didn't want to keep calling Python um, you know, outside of native.net to try to get these tokens. And I wanted to be able to track my authentication token um, and you know know when it was going to expire, stuff like this. So what I did is, let me just pull it up. Okay, so I got it pulled up. Um, so I wanted to check the access code, and I wanted to see if it had expired or not. And if it's expired, then I want to go grab a new one, okay? And when I'm going to do that, I'm going to use the refresh token or refresh code to go grab a new authentication token, okay? So I'm gonna come in here, uh, I've already got an object for tokens, um, and then I'm gonna look, pull up my trading account, uh, that way, because my trading account has my bearer token in it, um, plus the, you know, the account number, stuff like that. And then what I'm gonna do is, uh, since I'm tracking my tokens when they expire, I'm checking today's date versus that expiration date and see if, they're expired or not. If I'm past the expiration date, then I definitely know that I need to go create or get a new set of tokens from TD Ameritrade. Okay. So that's simply that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, you know, my, my trade account is the token expired. Yes, it is. So therefore, you know, I'm creating a new token and I'm going to go get a new access token. Okay. Um, once I bring that token back, you know, did it air out? If not, then I'm going to update one the tokens that I've got in memory at the time, but also I'm going to update the database. Okay. Uh, and that's what this is right here. Now, uh, otherwise, if the token is still good, Hey, I just, uh, I just replace what what's there. I return the good token, uh, to whatever function uh, or method it's calling, uh, this one. Okay. So as part of this though, I'm going to go into getting the new access token. Um, here we go. Yeah, access tokens expire after 30 minutes. I couldn't remember exactly what it was, but this is another reason why comments are great. Um, you know, as you get older, your memory starts to fail some, um, but even as a good coder, as a good skill, comment your code. I mean, it makes it really easy for other people to come in and look at your code, or even for you to remember what you did six months, seven months, you know, a year or two later, okay? Um, so what I'm doing is in here is I'm creating uh, the, the REST client 
and it's going to be a, a method of post, you know, and we're not using Git for this, we're posting. Um, and then the biggest thing is, you know, I said, do not URL encode the strings. Uh, I want to add them as parameters, okay, to the, to the type. And if you notice here, this grant type, refresh token, client ID, all this corresponds back to uh, TD Ameritrade's API. Let's go ahead and post. So right here, okay, so I'm building the object, okay? Yeah, we can't see anything. I didn't know if they had that or there or not. So, okay. You can go through and you can see it. So, you know, you're going to have an API key from TD Ameritrade. Uh, so you want to put that in there. You want to put your callback URL. And these two parameters, uh, these two things, these are what you set up for when you originally created your um, your account with TD Ameritrade's API service. Uh, this is your program. You know, this is how many, um, what you put in there uh, to set that up. Uh, and then you're going to execute the client, the, the REST client, and then get the response back from uh, TDA. And, you know, if it was a bad request or not, um, you know, I put this in for debugging purposes for me uh, when I was initially doing this because it was a problem um, getting back the authentication code. I was, you know, I had something off on there. So I had to sit there and play around with it like anything else and get it correct, okay? Um, so anyways, so I got that back and then I deserialize it and I return that uh, token, okay? Now, hey, just as a bonus, you know, I mentioned before that I'm using Python to um, pull uh, the, the bear code and the, in the initial refresh and auth codes. So what I decided to do is I'll go ahead and show that real quick to you. Um, the C sharp code where I'm pulling that a Python script. Okay. So um, basically, you know, <laughs> get cookies, but here it is right here. You know, I, I'm starting a process of Python um, and I'm passing arguments to it. Okay. Um, and you can do this however you want, whatever arguments that you want to do, however you write your, your, your Python. Um, and then basically what I'm doing is I shouldn't call this cookie. I should call it like tokens. Um, but anyways, this is what I'm doing to call that script. Hope it helps someone, but hey, bonus content for you. Okay. See ya. Anyways, if you hit the like button below, if you like the video, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it. That way you get a notice every time I release a new video. But hey, thank you for watching and good luck with your trades.